Hello everybody. Uh, last time I mentioned that I was going to be building a video broadcasting machine and it is completed now. So I thought that I would go ahead and do the next video showing how we have this uh, new video broadcasting machine set up. So here we go. So down here, this is the new video broadcasting machine that I put together. It's just in a rack mount case. This is a, um, a mini ATX format and fits everything in here nicely. The vents are really nice. The processor runs cool even being in the rack. Right above that we have this rack mount case that we've had for a while now that has both of our Mac Minis in here. Keep everything nice so uh, this Mac Mini on this side of the rack mount is for our uh, soundboard and this one here is for our Pro Presenter and um, we were going to get another Mac Mini to do the broadcasting but there's just a lot more options when you go with Windows for doing this sort of thing even though I am absolutely a uh, Mac fan it's just if there's just a lot more options going Windows for this application so this is the machine so plugged into the back of the machine we have a couple things one I have a uh, uh, this Behringer simple capture device that I showed you in the last video. This is just a USB cable out here and then has an input and an output RCA. It also has a place to plug in headphone jack. So for needing a simple interface to go out of the board and into our um, video broadcast machine, this is the way to go. So, the way we have this set up with our new Persona Studio Live 32 Series 3 mixer is we have a separate mix, that's these channels here, 15 and 16, set up as a broadcast mix. That way we can have a mix that's independent from our normal front of house mix for what we're sending out to the broadcast machine. This is helpful because a lot of times you have you need to have the drums up higher in the broadcast mix than you would in your normal front of house mix. So it's really helpful to be able to have a, a separate independent mix for the broadcast machine. Also, we don't normally have our room mics running into the house, but I can add a little bit of the room mics back in to the broadcast mix in order to give it a little bit more of a live feel. So that's what's set up here. The person sitting over here at the broadcast machine, he can use the UC control app for the Personas board and he can control the mix here separately. You just sit here and wear headphones and he can mix separately from the front of house mixer and never disturb anything that he's doing. So here back on the broadcast machine we're running OBS Studio which is if you don't know an open source freely downloadable program for doing uh, video streaming. So here on OBS we have different scenes set up so I have one scene for the logo, one scene showing what's happening on the projector this main camera which I'm using to record this video right now we use this for close-up shots and this is the camera that we move and track the um, pastor as he's speaking and then we have a simple little webcam set up which is our wide shot <clears throat> and that's this little webcam right here and that is our wide shot and then we have scenes for the main and the projector. So this camera plus a little window off here with the projector to the side and the wide camera and the projector. We also have this other little feature which is pretty neat. It's our wireless camera. 
what this lets me do is I have an app here on my phone um, called New Tech NDI. This uh, NDI protocol allows for really high frame rate wireless streaming. So using this app and OBS and a special plugin that you can download for this, uh, these are wireless cameras for OBS. So if we can, if we wouldn't do this every single Sunday, but if we did need to have more angles than just two, maybe get some close-up special shots for a special service, or if we're uh, trying to put out a really nice video on social media, we can uh, load this on a couple of the kids' phones, say, hey, go get these shots during worship. Um, and what I'll do, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, when I switch over to this wireless camera here, this is the wireless camera source. So you can see here, just wirelessly over the Wi-Fi, the iPhone is projecting its view. So we are a relatively small church and we like to dream big. And I've been lucky enough that God has given me um, a decent amount of technical skill. And it's allowed me to figure out how even with our small church budget, we can get a little bit of a, a taste of what the, the big boys get to do with their professional thousand dollar, uh, multi thousand dollar cameras, multi thousand dollar video mixers. Um, so if you are in a small church, uh, I would be happy to assist you in any way I can if you'd like to uh, have a similar setup. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments and I will answer to the best of my ability. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will be doing a video soon uh, showing more in detail how to set up a broadcast mix with uh, how to set your limiters and your compressors to just sweeten the broadcast mix and uh, hopefully soon I'll be posting the link so if you'd like to check out our live broadcast on Sundays you can do that as well. Thanks for watching.